Hello everyone, welcome back to Waygate Technologies. Dan here uh, with another in our video series on the Krautkramer USM100. Today we're going to take a look at how to update the software on the instrument and how to find the latest apps available for the instrument. Many of you may have just recently received uh, your first USM100. Um, if you're one of the lucky folks who got one of the early uh, beta units, uh, you may have quite old software on the instrument at this point. So one of the first things you're going to want to do with your new instrument is update to the latest version of code. So if you want to see what code is already installed on your instrument, uh, when you boot up, this is, uh, this is the screen that you will see. Um, you may have different apps on your instrument. Most likely you'll just have the USM generic app. Um, I have a couple of additional ones installed on my instrument here. But you'll likely boot to the, the app desktop. If you touch the settings button, that's the three little lines icon on the bottom of the command bar, you'll see a set of icons like these. And you want to uh, choose the gear icon for the settings menu. The settings menu will have uh, several tabs. The tabs are listed on the left, and then the contents of each menu is, is on the right. So the menus, the individual menus may scroll up and down, and for sure, the list of available menus will scroll up and down. So you can swipe the list down, you can swipe the list up. One of the first things you want to do is swipe it all the way up so that you can see the About button on the bottom. And if you touch about, uh, this menu will list uh, a number of important parameters about your instrument, including the version of software that's installed. Um, we can see on my instrument, I have 1.0.03000.004, and that was built on the 19th of September. Uh, that happens to be the first officially released version of code available for the instrument. So mine's up to date, um, but this is where you would come to find out what version of code is on yours. Now, where do you go to get an update? So let's go ahead and turn off our screen capture for a moment. And we're going to open Google Chrome browser. <clears throat> and I'm using Chrome here because uh, we're going to go to the Inspection Works website. Um, Inspection Works works best on Google Chrome. It will work uh, with other browsers as well, but Chrome is the ideal browser. So we're going to go to Google Chrome. We're going to type in Inspection Works. And I've been here before, so it completes for me. I can just say go to inspectionworks.com. And this is what the Inspection Works homepage looks like. We're going to want to go to products and we're going to go to the inspection works store now the inspection works store is going to have a collection of, of uh, software and apps and things for a great many different products particularly the mentor series as well as usm 100. so using this control in the upper center uh, the all products control, we're going to drop this down and we're going to find USM 100 and narrow our search to just the USM 100. And as we can see, that narrows it quite a bit. Um, down here under media, there are some other um, instructional videos in the series. The two things that we're most interested in are the USM 100 software and the generic app. The latest versions of these um, will always be posted here on Inspection Works, the latest released versions. So let's select the software and we will download that software. We're going to come here and we're going to download the individual file. And we can see that the MUP file is downloading. The, the software comes in a, in a file uh, format with the .mup mentor update uh, extension that finishes updating just a couple of seconds left that file has completely downloaded so let's resize our window here a bit 
we'll open a file browser, get that resize to a more convenient size. We'll scroll down, we'll go to our USB drive, get that fully on screen. There we go. So we have the USB drive open. And we're going to take the file that we downloaded and we're going to drag that onto the USB stick. And Windows is copying that over for me. It's quite a large file. That's why it's taking a while. It is about 710 megabytes, I believe, total. Give that a few seconds here to complete. Our file has transferred completely over. Okay, we've come back to our, uh, our main page for the USM 100. We're going to select the generic app. We're going to select download. And we're going to select download the individual file. And we see our, our uh, app has downloaded. And we'll copy that over to the memory stick. Now, one important thing to keep in mind, if you download a file with the same name more than once, um, Chrome will try to help you. It won't just overwrite the file. It generally will create a copy of the new file uh, with a slightly different name. So if I go in here and I download this again, so Chrome has created a copy of the file with a slightly different name. Uh, if I hover over here, we see it pop up. It says USM generic app with a one in parentheses. Now, if you were to try to install that file, it may cause problems. You want the original file, the USM generic app with the, the file name not modified. And that's the one that we already have on our memory stick. So just something to be aware of. If you uh, see that happening, if you end up with multiple copies of the file, um, this first copy was uh, had a one in parentheses. If we did it again, we get another copy with a two in parentheses. Um, you may need to come in and clear out your downloads in Chrome uh, to make sure that you only have one originally named version of the file. But anyway, we have the original file on, on our memory stick. We have the update file on our memory stick. So let's go ahead and eject the memory stick. So switching, switching back to our instrument now, uh, I'm using the, the USB stick that comes with the instrument. Um, this, in, this USB stick has a little slider on the side. So with the slider in the center, uh, the USB ports are not exposed at all. Slid one way and latched, you get the traditional USB style connector. Push down, pull it the other direction, there's a USB-C style connector. You can use either one of those on the instrument. On my instrument right now, I have my docking station plugged into the USB-C, so we're going to use the older style USB connector. We'll go ahead and insert that into the instrument. And now on the uh, settings menus, we're going to scroll up. And we're going to find, I guess it's right above about, uh, we're going to find the updates panel. So when you come in the updates, if you have the stick already plugged in, hit check. And it will scan the USB stick, look for all the MUP files. And it tells me that the MUP file, the update file that I have on here is 1.0.3000.004. It's showing me the date of 9-19-2021. And it says that's the version that's already installed. So if there was a newer version um, on the stick, it, would, uh, it wouldn't tell me that it's already installed. And it, the instrument will allow me to overwrite the installation if I so choose. So if I touch install now, it will kick off the installation process. I'm not going to do that right now because <clears throat> um, it will sever the connection to the, to the computer. 
Um, we won't get to see a lot of what happens anyway. Um, but what will happen is it will go through about 30 seconds to a minute of downloading and analyzing the update file, and then it will kick off the, the installation process. So the windows that you see on the, on the screen will change. It will show progress bars. Um, you do, it is best if you're plugged into the charger um, or have a fully charged battery before you begin the installation process. Um, you don't want the instrument to run out of power halfway through a software update. Um, so I usually have my instrument plugged into the charger and connected to mains when I do this. If all I wanted to do was update the app, let's go back to the main screen. So I see that I've already got a version of the USM generic app installed here. If I hit the add app button, it goes out, looks at the memory stick, tells me I have a USM generic app.iwp available. I can check that. And then I come over here and I touch the import button on the command bar to install that app. I give it the OK. It installs the app. It overwrote the existing version uh, that was on there. And I should be good to go. Now let's go back in. We'll go back to our update panel. Scroll that up. Hit updates. Now we'll go ahead and install and you'll get to see parts of this through the camera uh, as the, the installation process kicks off. Um, at some point we're going to lose our connection uh, for the remote desktop, so we'll lose that uh, better resolution video. So I'll go ahead and install. It tells me, please wait. During this period, it's downloading and analyzing the contents of the update file. Okay, this part of the process uh, takes a couple of minutes. Rather than watching the wheel spin or uh, watching progress bars for the next several minutes, we'll go ahead and cut out a lot of the progress or accelerate it on the video, and we'll come back at the end of the process. Okay, now we see that the, the instrument has finished analyzing the update file and has begun the installation process. So you'll see the, the uh, regular software closes and the, the update installer begins to run. And there'll be a series of screens like this. So you'll see progress bar. Um, it'll tell you that it's installing the update. Uh, it goes through several steps of this. There are many pieces of memory to update in the instrument along with the, the main hard drive. So this process generally takes 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Again, we're going to speed through this section, uh, cut some time out and accelerate things, and we'll catch up here in about 15 minutes. Okay, at the very end of the process, the instrument will appear to turn off. So we'll see the update window go away as we lose our connection as the, the computer begins shutting down. Now, unfortunately, there's a small bug at this point in the process right now, and the instrument has not turned all the way off. Um, if you notice, the LED is still lit over here. Um, even if I unplug the, the charger at this point, the LED is still lit. So what I'm going to do is do a forced power down. I'm going to reach up to the top here. I'm going to press the power button. I'm going to hold that for 10 to 15 seconds. And at some point in that 10 or 15 seconds, we see the LED turn off. We'll hear the click. And at that point, we can go ahead and reboot the instrument uh, with the normal power on sequence. Okay. So that's the entire process of updating uh, the instrument. Uh, we covered uh, going to inspection works, downloading the update file, downloading the latest of the uh, app files. Uh, we showed transferring those to the USB stick, inserting the stick in the instrument, going to the updates page, finding the update file, installing that. Uh, we went through the app installation process and overwrote our original app. Um, so that's the entire update process. Uh, if you have any questions, if you need assistance with the, the um, USM 100 in any way, 
uh, please drop us a note at remote service at bakerhughes.com. Again, that's remote service at bakerhughes.com. We'll be happy to help you out. Thank you very much.